So how do we balance the abs? Let's start with the deepest layer, the transverse abs. This muscle is effectively a cradle supporting the spine. So much misinformation surrounds this muscle, its function is to support, so one thing we must do to train them is to not be lying down or even sitting. Sorry to Pilates devotees out there, but you can't change the laws of physics. You've got to get up off the floor if you want to train them, as lying down or even sitting means that they're recruited less and they have less work to do. No amount of breathing techniques can possibly replicate the simple act of simply getting up off the floor. Fortunately, they're recruited automatically when performing basic exercises. For example, a deadlift recruits the transverse abs infinitely more than any lying or sitting exercise, so we'll train them more than adequately in the other exercises that I'll show you later in the video. The internal obliques and external obliques are involved in side to side and twisting motions. Very often, one side will be stronger and tighter than the other weaker overstretched side. The rectus abs are almost always overstretched and need to be tightened. So how do we work them? Well, the answer is very simple. Knee raises, gym ball twists and barbell twists. Why have we selected these three particular exercises when there are dozens of abs variations out there? The answer returns to my base philosophy that every exercise must be performed at maximum efficiency. We must hit the type 2 B muscle fibres that work between 0 to 15 seconds and the type 2 A fibres that are most effective 15 to 60 seconds. We must also do this in a functional way that uses the muscles in natural movements how they were originally designed. Ditch those waste of time floor based exercises and target the abs scientifically and more effectively. These three exercises do the job perfectly. The knee raise starts us off as it hits the type 2 B fibers effectively. Do as many of these as you can and then immediately switch to the ball to work up to 60 seconds total. These two exercises always go together and in this order. For the next set, the barbell twist works along, one side only for 60 seconds. You do have the choice however of using one barbell for 60 seconds or two barbells, one heavy for 15 seconds and then one light for 45 seconds. Do the abs this way and you will achieve in one session more than you could ever hope to achieve in one month doing crunches. Use the science to work smarter and safer.